Roberta Aronson. I have a 10.30 appointment. Oh, I'm sorry, your name again? Mrs. Roberta Aronson. Okay, well, it's 10.50 now, Mrs. Aronson. Let's see what we can do. <coughs> You're a bit late. Are you feeling all right? No, I'm really tired. I have no energy. It, it, it just took me too long to get ready this morning. It's hard for me to breathe. Okay, yeah, I see you have a history of asthma, Mrs. Aronson. Yeah, and it's really bad today. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Let's see what we can do. Thank you. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Peter, you got a second? Sure, what's up? Uh, Mrs. Aronson here is 20 minutes late for her appointment because she was tired this morning and she says it's hard for her to breathe. Well, all of our exam rooms are full right now. And have you seen the waiting room? Of course. I signed everyone in. But I've seen her here before. And she has a history of bad asthma and she doesn't look so good. What should we do? She seems to be breathing okay now. See if you can reschedule her for later. Okay. Mrs. Aronson, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to find you another appointment. <coughs> Mrs. Aronson? <coughs> Mrs. Aronson, are you all right? <coughs> Hang on, Mrs. Aronson. Peter, please call reception immediately. <coughs> This is Peter. Peter, uh. it's Sharon. Mrs. Aronson's condition has deteriorated. Uh. She appears short of breath. Uh, uh. There are no nurses or providers at reception. Uh. I'm worried. Can uh. you notify a nurse and get here right away? Uh. Got it. On my way. Tanya, can I get some help, please? <laughs> Thanks, Sharon. For what? For speaking up about Mrs. Aronson. I don't know where my head was at. No problem. Just doing my job. 